شاهنامه استوریز The Seven Labors of Rostam هفت خانه رستم The Battle with the White Deep Part 6 Rostam's seventh and last trial, that is the battle with the White Deep, is a most frequently illustrated event in the Shahnameh. The similarities and divergence between the hundreds of depictions of this scene create dynamic tension between the poetic intention of the narrative and the pictorial expression of the artists. As such, it is one of the subjects that has, in its universal appeal and its scope of interpretation, continued to remain popular in modern and contemporary art. As we have seen, Ferdowsi gives very little direction as to the physical appearance of the deeds, and over time, artists grew more and more creative in injecting their own personal brand of drama and embellishment into the stories. Until the 19th century, the seventh Han remained firmly within the context of the consecutive adventures of the preceding six challenges, as written in the manuscripts, although over time, only the encounter with the dragon, at times Arjang Div, and always the white div were illustrated. By the middle of the 19th century, however, the symbolic message of the seventh Han and its triumph of good over evil was sufficient to dispense with the surrounding narrative and furthermore recognizable enough to stand alone in a variety of media such as tile work, where, for example, the duo guarded the entrance to the old city of Tehran, the citadel of Semnan, and the Karim Khan citadel in Shiraz. During the Qajar period, the illustrated manuscript genre expanded to include printed lithograph copies of the Shahnameh and other epics that were very popular in the 19th century, coffee house paintings, and decorative lacquer album covers. The shedding of the accessories to the story of the seventh Khan was gradual, with the loss of the surrounding divs, the tied up ulad, and further minimalized with variations such as the loss of the cave and dramatized by highly elaborate curiosities, imagery, and intricate designs. As a singular symbol of the Shahnameh's central theme of the infinite battle of light over darkness, the image has gone far beyond its original narrative to represent evil in general, such as the recent coronavirus. Throughout these videos, we have singled out the complexity of Rostam's relationship with the White Deev and the undercurrent of the demon's humanity that runs through Ferdowsi's narrative that is intimated and emphasized by artists. Indeed, the difficulty of the triumph of good over evil is most powerfully conveyed when the demon's bestiality is minimal and both hover close to the fine line separating man's lower self, divanegi in Persian. Over time, the monstrous physicality of the demons diminishes, blurring the line that separates them. Even though its boundary is not clearly drawn, this intersection of the human and the demonic is the fascinating theme that runs through the Shahnameh. The fact that the encounters of the earlier kings, such as Hushang and Tahmures, are with physically terrifying demons, serves to visually distinguish between the two. But this interplay becomes less distinct and the outcome ambiguous by the time Rostam faces the white div. The depth of character, vulnerability and wisdom granted the white div complicated the notion of what it is to be a demon while at the same time we remember that Rostam is descended from the snake king Zahak through his maternal grandfather Mehrab, the king of Kabul. 
Heavily inspired by the Shahnameh, the contemporary Hazara artist Khadem Ali exposes the irony of the Taliban's self-identification with Rostam, suggesting that the legendary character of the hero has been usurped in contemporary times as justification for hostility and bloodshed. Paradoxically, this duality is at its most disturbing when the battle rages behind the identical, intertwined and inseparable mask of the alter ego, differentiated only by colour or tunic. Never is the duality of man more potent than in Rostam's struggle not only to defeat the white div, but for mastery over himself. Thank you.